Okay, when setting airflow for a supply grill, it's a little different in that you have to take into account the effective area of the grill. Now, normally the effective area is given by the manufacturer of the grill. You can look it up if it's a Titus or if it's a Metal Air. Uh, sometimes you can call your supply house and get the effective area, of, you know, if it's a Series 700 grill. Um, the only difference between taking the return air grill and the supply air grill is the effective area and feet per minute times the effective area of a supply register gives you your CFM so let's say we have a an effective area of 0.23 for a supply register now the thing about effective area is as given by the manufacturer it's always in square feet so our anemometers only take square inches so what we have to do is convert the effective area that's square feet to square inches so if our effective area for a certain grill is 0.23 you have to multiply that by 144 which is one square foot and we get 33.12 square inches and like I said before on the 435 when you go into the area screen uh, you can choose area and if it's under 310 square inches then you can just enter it so in this case with our area actually being 33.12 square inches we could go into the area screen and input right here 33.12 inches or if you want to stay with the rectangle then you would take 33.12 hit square root and that gives us a total of 5.75 by 5.75 uh, square and then you would input under rectangle 1 5.75 rectangle B 5.75 and then you would escape out we're gonna leave these in here because we're gonna go do return error but doing a supply error that's how you would do it and if you're trying to calculate the BTU output of the system to a single room this is how you would do it you would put the effective area of the grill in the 435 so the effective area in square feet multiplied by 144 equals the area in square inches of the grill and then you would take your uh, probe number two which is your supply air probe and plug it into the grill that you're measuring in the room so probe number one which is return air stays in the return air of the system probe number two goes into the supply air and then you take your airflow reading with your anemometer at the supply air register in the room and that will give you the BTU output that's actually getting to the room and if you've done a manual J or manual N or if you've calculated using something like right soft or elite where it gives you the load of each room then you can check and make sure that you're not having excessive heat gain in the ductwork or maybe the airflows choke down you can make sure that the BTU capacity of that room that was calculated is actually getting to the room and it's just a number way of another way of troubleshooting these uh, these hot and, and cold rooms that we have in houses that are on flex duct systems that are a really long way away from the uh, system. So it's pretty handy for that, and actually it works very well. So.